hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix we can't find your camera error that comes while opening the camera on your windows 10 and windows 11. now here the very first thing that i would recommend you that kindly read the information here that says with the error code and says no camera are attached so probably you find the same message or something different so depending on the error code what i would recommend you that try reconnecting your camera in case if you're using any kind of external camera like if it's a usb camera then try connecting to different kind of usb port and in case if you have properly connected and still you are getting the same error message then you will have to close it next click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes now here you have to run few command and all the command you will be getting in the description so the first command will be dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health now hit the enter key now this command will be taking some time so once this command will be completed you will have to run another command that again you will be getting in the description and that will be sfc scan so meanwhile it's running we can minimize it next right click on the windows icon then click on settings now here from the left in menu option you have to click on privacy and security and here scroll down in the app permission you will find the camera option you will have to click on it and make sure that all the permissions are being enabled the first option camera access this should be enabled even you have to check for individual any kind of application enable all the permission then in the related setting you have to click on camera device setting and here you can try adding your camera in case if you have connected any kind of external camera so you can click on search for camera and once it will find it it will automatically connect it and then next from the left in menu option only you will have to click on apps click on installed apps now here in the search app you have to type camera you will be getting the camera option here on the right side of it you will find the three dot click on it then click on advanced options and make sure that this camera option has been enabled okay so you have to check the permission from everywhere and then you have to scroll down and here you will find the reset option first you have to click on repair then you have to click on reset and once it's all been done you will have to close it next right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on device manager now here in the device manager you have to look for the camera and in case if you don't find it then from the top menu option you have to click on view and then you have to click on show hidden devices and again search for the camera and you will find that the camera option is back in case still if you don't find it then you can click on any of the adapter and then from the top menu option click on action click on scan for hardware changes so once you find the camera you will have to double click on it and then it will list you that which camera has been connected in case if you don't find any camera here then probably you have not connected the camera properly in that case again try removing the camera and reconnect it again okay so once you are able to find it here you will have to make a right click on it click update driver click search automatically for drivers if the updates are available kindly go ahead and update it and if not then make a right click on it click uninstall device click uninstall again and then you will have to restart the computer so once the computer gets restarted now check back i'm very sure that you would be able to access the camera now but in case if all these method doesn't work now then you also need to try and make sure that your firewall and the security is not blocking the camera so in order to confirm it what you can do click on your windows search type virus click on virus and threat protection from the settings now here virus and threat protection setting you have to click on manage settings disable the real-time protection cloud delivered protection and automatic sample protection and even the tamper protection once it's all been disabled now you can try again and see if the problem has been fixed 
in case if nothing has been changed then you can re-enable the securities and now in the next step what you will have to do you need to manually download and install the camera driver from the official website so you can bring up any of your browser just type the name of the camera or the webcam whichever you are using and then type driver hit the enter key then you have to look for the official website of that particular manufacturer click on it now here it will ask you some of the information like what os do you have so you will have to choose the os select your operating system give all this information then you have to click on submit then it will display the driver you will have to select it and then you have to download it so once it will be downloaded you will have to install it then restart the computer now in case if you come to any kind of part where it asks you the serial number then what you will have to do bring up the command prompt it's already running so we can again minimize it now keep in mind that you have to wait until this command is completed and then only you will have to restart and after that you also need to run the sfc command as well so we can bring up another command prompt and here you have to run a single command that will be wm ic space bios space get space serial number now hit the enter key and you will find the serial number over here okay so what you can do next type the serial number and download the driver that is suitable and available for your computer all right so after that you have to restart the computer check back again i'm very sure your problem will be fixed but in case if none of the solution is working for you then finally you will have to go with the power flash so in the power flash what you will have to do if you are using a pc then you have to turn off the computer remove all kind of cable like power cable any kind of keyboard external devices remove everything once removed press and hold on the power button for 25 to 30 seconds and after that you need to connect all the cable back and then restart the computer same you have to do with the laptop if you're using any kind of laptop with the removable battery then you will have to remove the battery power adapter press and hold the power button for 25 seconds reconnect all the devices and check back again now this is the final step in case if none of the solution work for you so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all this solution your issue will be resolved and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and let us know which method work for you till then take care bye bye